What's up guys, it's Barry Productions here. Today, I'm finally going to be um, doing an unboxing and review on Dr. Damage. And yes guys, I'm not lying whenever I say finally. Because, um, I, well I guess I'll tell you. So, um, I got this guy, I got Dr. Damage at, um, Target. And, um, oh yeah, and I also found a Lizzie at Target. Which is really cool, but I didn't get her because um, I only had to make one choice, which was either Lizzie or Dr. Damage. And, of course, I chose Lizzie. I mean, um, Dr. Damage, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, so Dr. Damage is a Demolition Derby contender. Well, I guess I'll say that um, once I get done. Um, but I guess for now, let's just do the um, unboxing. I mean, the box. So... Um, uh, the box features the same old, um, black, red, and white, uh, box with that deluxe, because he is a deluxe, because he is a big vehicle, and this is my second diecast deluxe that I have, um, or at least in the Demotion Derby. Um, it says Dr. Damage there, and then it shows Dr. Damage in the box, and in the back... Um, shows more content. So, all at the bottom here, it just shows, like, some, like, b like, back, um, information. And it, like, says, like, Mattel and, like, Disney and everything like that. Which is, like, like, boring, basically. But you could also see four different characters that you could get as well. Which is Tiny Lugsworth, Cars 3 Mac, Red, and Miss Fritter. And I already have Miss Fritter. So if you guys want to go look at her video, go check her out. Um, and then right here, it says, Blindsided by a new generation of Piston Cup racers, Lion McQueen fin finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves to get back on top. He'll need the help of a young race technician, inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, and guidance from a few old friends along the way. So, I guess that kind of gives you a little background story about the movie. Which, if you guys haven't seen the movie, because this video will be um, having some spoiler alerts, then, um, yeah. So, there are spoiler alerts in here. So, yeah. Um, well, that's pretty much it for the box. Now, it's time to do the unboxing. Let me position my light a little bit so that it doesn't get in the way. Um, never mind, that's good. So now it's unboxed. And I have to be careful with the cards in the back. And Dr. Damage right there. And here he is. Oh man. Okay. Um, now let's get a closer look at Dr. Damage. Alrighty guys, so here is Dr. Damage out of the package. Out of the package, he's really cool. And, um, really different. Um, so now let's get into, like, the background story of Dr. Damage. Dr. Damage is a Demolition Derby contender. Um, he could be seen throughout, uh, different scenes of the Demolition Derby scene. He has multiple spoken, speaking lines, um, so I might not remember any of them. Um, so yeah, he is a ambulance or a rambulance. Um, and yeah, so now I just go into the details. So, uh, Dr. Damage has, there's his face. Dr. Damage only has one uh, side view mirror. He has brown eyes, and he has some lights up on his roof, and he has the ambulance logo, but he added an R, which says Rambulance, because um, in a demolition derby, you ram people, I guess. Um, he has a cool-looking neon yellow bumper, and he has a grill there and some missing teeth. Um, he also has some headlights right there. Now, on this side of him... He actually, those are actually smokestacks, so 
Um, for example, like liability, these parts are smokestacks. Same thing with fishtail, these are smokestacks. So for doctor damage, these are smokestacks. So yeah. Um, in the back it says Ramulance, and then is number 5, and it has like the heartbeats, and then it flatlines, so yeah. Um, you could also see like the red, I mean like the red on the mud, and the mud is also a cool feature that they added on, because if you look at Miss Fritter, she doesn't have no mud, not it. And, she, yeah, she doesn't have no mud. Not even on her tires or nowhere. She doesn't have mud. But, for Dr. Damage, he does have mud. So, yeah. S sorry about that, guys. Um, but, yeah. Here, there's the back of Dr. Damage. The back of Dr. Damage has lots of different details. So, right off the bat, you could already see the boarded up windows. You could also see some chain right here, there, and there. And then headlights again. The other side is uh, pretty similar to uh, the other side. Except it, they added on um, this little guy right here. Which is like a dying car, I guess. Um, but I don't know. Um, let's unblur. Um, now let's look at his tires. So, Dr. Damage has... Focus. Dr. Damage has treaded tires in the back. And, um, normal tires in the front. Now, I really like, um, Dr. Damage's treaded tires. Because I'm not sure what it is about them. Um, but they just look really cool to me. And you could also tell that he's kind of slanted this way. Like, fishtail slanted down a little bit. Dr. Damage is slanted down and he's lifted from the ground really high. So I like that. Um, oh yeah, his wheels are also a neon uh, yellow or green, whatever you want to say. But the back tires... Um, have a blue dot in the middle of them, right there, and there's his base if anybody was interested. So, um, unfortunately, um, this whole part, hold on, let me unblur, unfortunately, the, his whole back part is made out of plastic. Only this front part of him is metal, but the back of him is plastic. So, um, that's kind of a downer, uh, not downer, minor letdown, or downfall, whatever. Um, because, uh, I thought, because Miss Fritter, Miss Fritter is full diecast. She's diecast everywhere. Like, everywhere. And she's really heavy, which you could also tell she's made of plastic, because she's really heavy. And you could also tell whenever I put her down, you actually have to use a little bit of muscle whenever you, like, pick her up. Dr. Damage. Um, if I, like, hold him like that, as you can see, the front of him tips down because the front of him is made out of metal. And the whole back of him is made out of plastic. So I guess it makes sense because they have to make, like, all these dents, like, on the top there. Oh, and I forgot to say the top has the number five. And some numbers and the uh, ambulance logo. And overall, he does... I mean, overall, he's a really cool car. Um, so, I remember in the movie, there is one particular scene that I remember that features Dr. Damage. So, so in one part of the movie, Lightning McQueen is in the Demotion Derby... Um, like, scared, and, uh, Lion McQueen's scared to, like, get hit by anybody. But there's a guy in front of him. Now, if you remember in the movie, um, the guy that was in front of him is yellow. He was, like, a taxi demolition derby car or something. And, um, he kind of has the same body style as Bill. 
Um, so Lyme McQueen's driving this way, and then this guy's driving this way too, but so basically backwards. And then, um, this guy, I forgot his name, it was like, like, bl like, blind, never mind, I was gonna say blind side, um, blind side, but that was, that's, I think that's a movie, but I don't know. But, um, there, this guy says, hey, I'm driving here, and then, um, and then out of nowhere, Dr. Damage comes flying and hits him. So, ba basically, Dr. Damage is coming this way. This guy's coming this way, right here. So, pretend he's still there. Dr. Damage just goes flying towards him. Which, overall, causes Lionel McQueen to get scared. And also makes him, uh, makes, uh, that taxi guy go flying because in the movie um they are in a crazy eight track which is a figure eight which basically means that cars drive in an eight form and in the dead center of the eight is where all the carnage happens because you never know if you're like going like this way and then like a few cars going that way so it's basically like a like a little chance that you might get T-bone on the side, just like T-bone. So yeah, that's one scene. There's also a scene where Lion McQueen's driving, and then he looks over at Pushover, and then you see Doctor Damage like somewhere right here, and then all you see is the fire go off right, like to the um to the right of him. So yeah, that pretty much concludes Doctor Damage's review. Um, oh yeah, guys, I wanted to show one thing, one more thing. So, do you guys remember this Crazy 8 Crasher RV? Which I'm sure you do. Because, um, I'm saying that if you guys can never, ever, 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 ever find the diecast, and you just can't, you don't have no patience, then do this. So what I did... Was if you guys see my doc my RV Crazy Eight Crasher review, um, he's a Crazy Eight Crasher. But what I did was I removed his little spinner thing right here, and he already had rolling tires. So I figured why not remove his uh spinny thing and just make him like that, and it actually works. So he's like basically a car, basically, but made out of plastic. And, and that was, that original idea, I was gonna do that to Dr. Damage too, the Dr. Damage Crazy 8 Crasher, but I figured, um, that the diecast version looks way more better than the, uh, Crazy 8 Crasher. Alright, um, anyways guys, that pretty much concludes the, uh, unboxing and review of Dr. Damage, um... And yeah, so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, smash that like button for reviewing Dr. Damage. And if you liked it even more, then hit the subscribe button uh, for more Cars 3 content as well as Demolition Derby um, cars. And yeah, guys, there's still a lot more to come and there's still a lot more Demolition Derby cars to come out and for me to review. So yeah, guys. Uh, that's the end of the vlog, I mean, not vlog, that's the end of the video, and I'll see you guys in another video with another, uh, car video. Peace.